We're out here taking photos for our photo blog. It's all part of Girls in ICT Day. Let's see what's going on over there. We took a couple pictures in front of the United Nations. We, they, they took pictures holding, holding hands and only the hands. And Trying to show the empowerment of women and girls. On a pris une photo uh, devant les Nations Unies de, uh, de deux mains qui, uh, qui se tiennent uh, comme ça pour, uh, pour symboliser un peu que la, le futur est dans nos mains. The International Telecommunication Union has bused in girls from the Geneva area for a day of ICT workshops on digital music, coding, photo blogging and mobile apps. Blog photo, tu vas participer à créer un blog. I was here, I lived, I loved, I was here. It's because there's not a lot of role models out there and the perceptions are that it's a dominantly male field. So what we're trying to do with Girls in ICT Day is to change perceptions. And, and it's about explaining to girls that this is the future, that they can use technology to make the world a better place. I was here. The really hard part is having the perseverance and drive to really start a project and end a project. But first, an inspiring tale of tech success. I'm here with Sylvia Todd, and she's showed me her watercolor bot. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, sure. So the watercolor bot is a watercolor painting robot that uses X and Y coordinates to paint a picture. So what inspired you to make this? So really, I was just bored, and I wanted to do something for uh, this uh, international competition called Robo Games. And I've been there many times before, and I was just wanting to do something. We tend to put a lot of focus on the technology and not the information and communication. But for these girls, I want to give them a chance to create and communicate online. So I'm just giving them some digital skills uh, to put these stories together, to take their photos and to tell their own story here. The internet can be a great place to play and learn. But it's not without its hazards. The girls have been learning, among other things, how to surf safely and protect their privacy. Il faudrait enfin faire attention de ce qu'on met sur nos amis et sur nous-mêmes. Si la personne n'est pas d'accord, après on est embêté parce que ça s'enlève pas. Enfin, même si on supprime sur Facebook, ça reste tout le temps. C'est tout le temps dans leur serveur. So, why is the ITU holding this event? Well, at the moment, only nine out of 100 app developers are women. And the number of women graduating in computer science is actually falling. The ITU's aim is to give things a bit of a nudge the other way. So, what's to be done? We have to start from earlier. We have to start from the early school years when there is a window that's decisive for girls and boys to understand that there is no difference when it comes to gender as to where each um, will go. As you progress up the tree, the number of women tend to filter out, and so it tends to thin out, and uh, perhaps more can be done to encourage women to progress a lot further. I think we need to uh, bring uh, more of a cool factor into technology when it comes to girls. You know, being able to envisage and project themselves into the future, you know, wow, this could be me in maybe 15 years' time. After a day crowned with workshops and exercises, let's hope that the girls leave not only having made new friends, but also inspired to embrace a career in technologies and science.